So you want to be able to do the 540 kick, right? You want to look like a badass while you're beating up people, like Jackie Chan. That's nice. That's nice. But first, we got to work on a lot of things. Remember, when you're doing the 540 kick, you better be conditioned because your ankles, your knees are going to suffer. Remember, you're landing on exactly the kicking leg. So it takes a lot of strength and plyometric ability. For example, one great exercise for you to work on the stiffness of your tendons is jumping rope, which is like impossible to do on the grass, on the lawn. I'll try it anyways. Oh man, I hate to do it. But see the, this, this rebound of your feet. And if you do it on one foot, you'll have to have a lot of stiffness on your tendons that you get that rebound, which you're gonna find necessary to get them stronger, the tendons I mean, because it doesn't really matter if you have a big calves or big muscles if you're not strong or stiff in your tendons. Another exercise that I really love and it's really gonna work on your one foot jumping ability is this. So keep in mind, you gotta have a lot of balance and then you're gonna jump and your knee's gonna hit your chest like this. One, and you land. Two, one more. Three, work with both legs. Oh, and I already have a complete jumping workout for you to work on your jumping ability. So do follow that. F seagulls, man. I meant seagull, not seagull. Next one, remember you're gonna do something like this. So if I'm kicking with the right, I'm gonna land on it. So I'm gonna really torque my hip to get the most out of this kick. So one, one thing you can do to work on that hip torque is work on the Russian twists. Either with kettlebells, with plates, with dumbbells, you name it. <laughs> Lastly, you'll need a lot of flexibility. So do follow the how to get the splits willow tutorial. That's some serious workout, man. On with the technique. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna work with your front leg being the right one. So I know you're not a southpaw, or maybe you are, but if you're not a southpaw, do the right leg. So the kicking leg in front anyways. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn as if you were doing a wheel kick with your left leg. And once you do that, you're gonna really lift up that knee. So like so, and one, like this, okay? And one, as if you were doing a wheel kick or a, a outside crescent kick, a spinning outside crescent kick. Next step, once you do that, you're gonna jump and you're gonna lift that other knee as if you were gonna kick with your right one. So one and two, but with a jump like this. One, two, okay, facing forward. And from here, one, two. Now, decision time. Either you're gonna kick in an out, in, uh, in an inside crescent kick like this, one, with your hips being square, like ballet. Or you're gonna do it with a roundhouse kick like this. <laughs> or you're gonna do it with a roundhouse kick. With your hips being sideways, so you give your hip in. Oh great, now the sun's coming, yeah, good. So from here, you obviously already know what you want. So if you want an inside crescent kick, you're gonna do like this, okay? If you want a roundhouse kick, you're gonna do with your hips being slightly to the side. And instead of just lifting your uh, knee in a vertical fashion, you kind of go sideways in order to really catch your opponent. So like this, and then, bah! Again from the front, one, and with a roundhouse. <laughs> now you got the tornado kick or the 360. What you gotta do now is think about the kicking leg will be the landing leg. So with some support, a park bench or a, a rim, you're gonna be able to really understand the motion like this, okay? So, okay, all right, I get it now. Yeah, inside crescent or a little bit more sideways turned in the roundhouse. With due time, you're gonna do something like this. 
Okay. Try to kick. Try to kick a little higher. And once again. Okay, you're gonna really start to understand how to turn and how to land and make your mind-muscle connection know the exact motion of the movement. Now, I always prefer you to do with little momentum, which is to say that the kicking leg will be in front and you're only using this motion right here in order to kick. But if it really helps you, if, you're done like, if you've done like 500 tries and you haven't succeeded on the ground or with some mats or in a soft surface like a lawn, what you can do is you can, you can have your left leg in front and then you step and you use your arms to get as much momentum as possible. So now I'm gonna show you both takeoffs and you're gonna see which one works better for you. So from here, this is the first one. So all you gotta do is turn one, I'm gonna show you with the 540 now, I'm gonna do inside crescent. And the second takeoff, left in front, you're gonna, you're gonna step in and you're gonna blast off. Like this, one, two, okay? Really use your arms to get that helicopter motion. So it's gonna be the, this. <sighs> now remember, if you already know the technique, don't get frustrated with the first few attempts. You gotta work on it, work on it, work on it. It took me like, I don't know, I was like 12 years old or something and it took me like six months until I got it. And even still, it wasn't beautiful at all. And you know what was even harder? I knew that a stuntman has to be able to do it with both legs.